Okay, give me a little sip of water. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chanel B and I am so happy to have you here. Okay, listen, y'all, so life has been happening. It's been a while since I've actually posted something on YouTube, but it's just that I'm trying to find a healthy balance between uh, posting content on YouTube and actually living life, right? Sometimes I forget to have my camera with me when I'm out and I'm about, but I am gonna get better with that because I know right now the content that I want to bring to you guys is fashion, lifestyle, and girl talk. So all things girl talk, all things fashion, all things lifestyle. So there we have a focus, okay? And that's, that's the first part of this whole thing. So I'm so happy that y'all are here. So that means that you, um, you either are returning or you're new. If you are new, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are um, a returning uh, viewer, then welcome back. Okay, so in today's video, I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to talk about something that I don't feel like people are talking about enough online, and that is some things that you can do if you are spending the holidays alone. So normally everybody is spending the holidays with their family and their friends, but there are some people out in the world who aren't that connected to their family and their friends, and they really are gonna be spending the holidays alone, and they wanna know what they can do to still feel festive, to still feel, you know, in the holiday spirit. And I'm gonna help you today with some tips on what you can do to um, enjoy your holidays, but enjoy them alone, okay? So also, if you um, would like, make sure that you hit the like button, and also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel because it's free and it helps your girl really build her YouTube community. And I need a community because I need to know what are the things y'all would like me to post. So I would like your feedback and things like that. So help me grow my YouTube community, y'all, and I'll be greatly indebted to you, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. The number one way you can spend your holidays, if you are planning to spend your holidays alone, are to go out and serve somebody. Yep, I said it, y'all. Listen, I don't know what the science is. I don't know what the psychology is about serving others. But let me just tell you, I've had seasons where when I was off in college and I was hours away, I had to actually spend the holidays with myself. Y'all, I will find and I will go to my local shelter and I would literally go out and serve people. I would pass out food. I would make plates. I would pass out clothing and um, daily essentials to um, the homeless shelters. And y'all, when I tell you, it almost immediately pulled me out of this funk I was having. It's something about serving others that really diminishes and make your own situation smaller than it is. And it makes you really grateful and thankful for the position that you're in when you go out and you serve someone, especially if you serve someone who is less fortunate than you. Y'all, listen, if you are spending the holidays alone, you don't have to. Sign up, go to your nearest local sh uh, shelter. They are always having events around the holidays uh, where they need extra hands. Y'all, go out into your community and help serve someone. Look, even if you don't want to go to a shelter or if they say they, they have all the help that they need, you can even go and cook a little something yourself. Go to uh, an area where you know there's a lot of homeless people. You know, package up those dinners and you can even pass them out. Anything you can do to serve someone else, it literally takes you out of your own situation for that moment. It takes you out of your own situation and allows you to show up for someone else because you can't show up for yourself. And eventually you'll feel so much better about your holidays and I'm telling you, it's going to work. So that is my number one tip on things you can do uh, if you are spending the holidays alone. All right guys, so tip number two on things you can do if you are spending the holidays alone is to go and cook 
and bake your favorites. Okay, listen, y'all. Holidays are all about fran... Uh, ooh, can't even talk. What's going on? Holidays are all about friends and family already as is, right? Friends, family, and food, y'all. You cannot forget the food. So let me tell you this. If you are spending the holidays alone, let me tell you, making some of your favorite dishes for yourself in front of your favorite TV show or in front of your favorite YouTuber can really brighten up your holiday. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling y'all, I've been through all of this. All of this that I'm telling y'all, I've been through this because I was in college, I was away from my family, and I just couldn't make it, right? For whatever reason it was, I just couldn't make it. So I've actually lived through moments where I could not be with my friends and family for the holidays. So I would create these super, uh, I will create these gourmet almost menu. So I would basically kind of create the things that I would normally eat with my friends and family on Thanksgiving um, day back at home, if I was back at home. And I would create these menus to emulate what I'm used to eating. And I will add some more extra things that I like to eat, you know, that's not necessarily on my um, on the traditional list for my family for Thanksgiving for the holidays. I will go and create these wonderful entree menu, y'all, and this wonderful dessert menu. And y'all, I will go to the grocery store, buy all the things, and literally pop in my favorite movies and watch movies and cook all day, all night. Y'all, when I tell you it was so fun, and listen, if you are old enough, hopefully you are, you can also drink some wine with it. Have a glass of wine, y'all. Make you a nice little holiday cocktail or something. Listen, y'all, the holidays, spending the holidays alone can be done. It can be done, y'all. Listen, so you know what? You can even, I just thought about it. Let's say you really don't want to go out in public because you know that it'll be a lot of people at the stores and things like that. There are a lot of um, delivery, grocery delivery options that you can do. Y'all, listen, I got a whole year membership on Instacart. So if anybody knows what it is to order groceries, it is your girl. Listen, make sure you go on one of these delivery sites that deliver groceries and foods and other things. And you can actually... Um, put in what you want in your cart, in your list, and they can, someone can shop it for you. And you can communicate with them if they have replacement ideas, if the store ran out of something. So trust me, you got some options on ways that you can really spruce up your holidays if you are spending them alone. All right, guys, and for tip number three on things you can do if you are spending the holidays by yourself is to call up a friend or a family member. Okay, listen, for whatever reason, you can't be with your family and your friends, but you should at least have a friend that you can contact or communicate with on the holidays and let them know that you're thinking about them, right? This can be a, a simple text. I say call them or FaceTime them. I just feel like calling and FaceTime is much more effective, especially if you're feeling sad or if you're feeling down. I feel like a phone call, hearing someone's voice can really cheer you up and seeing someone's face can really warm you if you are feeling a little holiday cold. If you are not feeling your best, you can always FaceTime or call up a friend. I think that is so cool. I think it's so clutch. Especially if you can't have them there with you, call them up. Cook while they're on the phone, you know, talk about something. Y'all watch a movie together. Trust me, that is so freaking fun. I did it during the pandemic when I couldn't see a lot of people. We would literally just have dinner over the uh, FaceTime. And y'all, when I tell you, it worked out and it planned out peacefully, okay? I'm sorry, perfectly. It, it planned out perfectly, y'all. But it was peaceful too. It was peaceful too because you know you don't have anyone in your home, but you kind of got them on the phone, and it, it was a, it was a good situation, y'all. Just know that. Um, so yes, that is the tip number three: call up a friend, um, Facetime them if you can um, over text messaging. All right, and last tip, but certainly certainly not least, is to start planning for your next holiday. Okay, listen, guys. A lot of times when we are feeling down in the dumps, the best thing we can do is plan for a better future, right? That is with that is with 
everything in life. That is with all things. And I say, what better way to end off your holidays after you serve someone, after you cooked, after you hung out with your friend on FaceTime? What better way to end the holidays but to make some New Year's resolutions? Now, look, I don't know what the reason may be as to why you're not with your friends and family over the holidays, but start planning on ways and ideas you can come up with on how to make your holidays a little more enjoyable um, so that you uh, a little more enjoyable for you or um, start coming up with a plan on how you can better get to your friends and family for the next holiday season you understand so um, for some people this may not be as easy it may um, need to, it may require a conversation maybe a conversation with a, a mediator a therapist a counselor if you are having some family issues or if you are having some issues with a friend and you really want to try and reconcile so that you don't spend the next holidays alone you can do that y'all you can do that or if you decide Shh, forget it i want me some new friends you can do that too so start making some friends you know it's the, the year is fresh Start making some friends so that when the next holiday season come around, boom, you got some people to hang out with. That's only if you want to because I got some, I know some people who are completely okay hanging out by themselves during the holidays and um, then will want to do family sometimes or just want to just do alone. Either way it goes, plan it to make it enjoyable for you. All right, guys. So that's all for my video. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video if I said something that you was feeling. And if you would like to see my face again and you would like to get more content from me, make sure you hit the bell notification so that every time I upload, you know when to come over here and check me out. And also subscribe so that you can be a part of the gang, like I said, a part of the community um, so that you guys can really give me some feedback on what you would like to see going forward, okay? Well, I hope this video really, really helps somebody. I hope you guys have a safe and beautiful holiday season. Um, I will be coming with some content uh, again on Friday. So make sure you check me out then. And y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in today. Y'all don't understand how much it means to me. Bye!